high. Data visualization is a crucial aspect of football analytics. While Matplotlib and Seaborn offer comprehensive libraries for creating visual representations of your findings, MPL Soccer, a specialized package, provides football-specific plotting capabilities, enabling you to craft beautiful and informative visualizations that tell the story behind the numbers. It is considered by many football enthusiasts the easiest, the most complete, and the most affordable Python library for plotting football data. Before kicking off, do subscribe to our channel to stay up to date and never miss a single football tutorial. Now, what is MPL Soccer? MPL Soccer is a specialized Python library for plotting football charts in Matplotlib. In MPL Soccer, you can plot football pitches on different pitch types, plot radar charts, pizza charts, plot bumpy charts for showing changes over time, plot arrows and heat maps, and more. Now, let's go through specific examples of charts we can draw using MPL Soccer. First of all, we may draw a pitch. Looks quite simple, I think, right? But trust me, comparing to MPL Soccer, plotting the same pitch from scratch in Matplotlib requires huge amount of efforts and time. Want to create visualizations of several teams, periods, or leagues? No problem. MPL Soccer allows you to plot multiple pitches in the same visualization. Now, these white pitches uh, look a bit boring, don't you think? So we can visualize them with grass and stripes. Now, it looks way better in my opinion. What do you think? Want to have a more playful pitch? Well, MPL Soccer got you covered. Now, let's have a look what we can draw on top of the pitch. For example, a pass map like this, with yellow arrows showing completed passes and the red ones not so successful. Or we can create a pass map, a pass flow, I'm sorry, depending on the, on the pitch zone want to visualize only passes that led to shots, MPL Soccer allows you to do so. One of my favorite types of football visualizations is a heat map. Just look at this beautiful heat map on the screen and uh, we can visualize the same di data differently and completely differently. One of the fancy visualizations is a pass networks, showing you how passes were flowing between different players. Not only it's elegant, it also holds important information for decision making in football, both for coaches, for analysts and for football enthusiasts like we are. Another way to visualize events is to compare them like you are seeing on your screen. But say you want to visualize a number of, of elements, player actions, or events in the match. Sure thing. One of the options you can do this is the way you see on your screen. And here's another way of doing so. Now, okay, that's enough with speeches. Let's jump to other visualizations, shall we? And here comes uh, the radar chart, one of the best options to visualize statistics of a player, team, or a league. It's also useful for and convenient way to compare different teams, players, and leagues. By the way, MPL Soccer also has a dark theme, which is cool, I think. One of the alternatives to radar charts are turbine charts, though they are not very popular. As to pizza plots, we may view them as a type of radar charts. They can be col colorful and have a dark theme as well. Next type uh, of a chart in MPL Soccer is bumpy charts. It's a great way to visualize teams' dynamics in time. They can be also used for comparing different players. That's basically all major MPL Soccer chart types. If you'd like to learn more, check out my previous videos, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials specifically dedicated to MPL Soccer. Cheers!